Hi everybody, this is another TFR Drones video and this video is going to be a video review of my new Cook Up by M1 OSD. Now uh, the deal with this OSD is that this OSD is designed to work with the, any, pretty much any version of the NASA on the market. So you can plug it in into the NASA light. NASA V1, NASA V2, and some NASA versions that comes with the DJI Phantom. Let me show the other side of the OSD. You will see this push button over here. Now this push button serves different purposes. This push button allows you to reset the OSD, but also at the same time, this push button um, you will be able to, you know, go to the menu because this thing does have a menu that will allow you to select, you know, different features on the OSD. But the most important thing that this uh, push button allows you to do is to change. It, this OSD comes with three different types of displays, so you can pick, you know, the whatever display you like and use it as to do the main OSD display. So it's like different type, three types of layouts. So the first layout is the default layout that comes with this OSD is um, fighting, jet, fighting jet type of layout. The other layout that, uh, that gives you is a layout that is very similar to the iOSD. The third layout is kind of like a little bit of a mix of the DJI style uh, iOSD and the uh, Fighting Jet OSD, so it, it, it combines all the best features of both to make like a simplistic, you know, OSD layout. Now, the downside of this OSD is like all the menus, all the information is in Chinese. Now, if you're a little bit savvy about, you know, dealing with this type of devices, you know, OSDs, you can just play with all the settings you don't need to save them just play with them and little by little you're gonna figure out what is what you know I won't say you will figure out everything but you figure out most of almost everything you know on this so I managed to figure out how to set up this OSD from from PAL to NTCS because I live in the US in the US we don't use PAL we use NTCS this thing is default settings in PAL all my cameras are NTCS so I had to set up the OSD to work in NTCS, and that was easy. I managed to, I discovered the, the menu that changed to the different, you know, OSD, you know, screen layouts. And I managed to find the setting that will set, reset all the settings to default, or, and all the settings that will save everything you change and will get and send you back to the main layout or the OSD, whatever you decide to pick. There's some other settings that I couldn't figure it out. So probably I'm gonna go to my local Chinese restaurant and I'm gonna ask them to help me out, you know, to translate everything over here. So that way I can learn even more about, you know, how this thing works. I couldn't find anywhere uh, on this OSD. There was a setting that would allow me to change the OSD from Chinese to English or to any other language. I believe this OSD doesn't come with that feature and that sucks. You will have to fly the aircraft, kind of figure it out, you know, what means what, you know, when you fly. I haven't, you know, flown with this thing yet. I did connect it. I went outside, I connected and everything, and I, I just to see, you know, if, make sure that everything was working. But I haven't been able to fly with this thing yet because the aircraft were going to mount it. There's some parts that I need to die order that I haven't got yet. And until I get those parts, I, I won't be able to fly with this. Uh, I, I won't be able to use this OSD. Now you use the DJI style uh, layout. Basically, there's no text over there. Uh, it's it's pretty much it's only one thing that's gonna be in Chinese for everything else. It's gonna be understandable. If you got experience with the DJI uh, type of uh, iOSD, it's not gonna be no problem. This thing is just gonna work fine. You're gonna be able to understand it. There's gonna be no issues. The third layout is the one that's kind of a mix of the first layout and the second layout. That one got, you know, some text in Chinese, but it's not as many, uh, uh, it's not that much information in Chinese as the first layout that I come. All these layouts I'm talking about and the menus and everything, I'm gonna show it on the latter part of this video. I'm gonna show screenshots so you can see, 
you know what the layouts are all about okay so i explained already the how the osd works so what i'm going to do is i'm going to proceed to connect everything on the osd so that way you will know where everything goes i got the nasa over here this is the nasa light as you can see and what i'm going to do is on the input where you normally connect the gps antenna i'm going to connect here the the cable that comes from the OSD that's what you can see it says uh, it says uh, expansion for EXP okay so it's the same thing that it says here okay now uh, now I'm gonna proceed to connect the GPS antenna of the NASA this is the GPS antenna of the NASA and you won't connect this thing into the NASA you will connect this into the OSD and as you can see there's only one way to mount it right here we go antenna is connected to the osd and the osd is connected to the nasa now let's proceed to connect you know the devices that will work with the osd so here in the bottom that's where you go and you connect the cable that sends power from the main battery okay this cable will have to be connected to the uh, main battery and you have to make sure that the black cable is with ground it's connected to ground as you can see the black one is with the letter g and the v means voltage okay now this is the camera over here right and the camera i got this uh connector this uh three pin connector and you have to make sure that the ground you know it goes to the ground over here so you can see the camera is connected to the osd where the cables matching the way it was supposed to be and finally the last thing that you connect is the video transmitter and this is like a boss cam style of video transmitters so you will connect the video transmitter make sure the ground goes to the ground over here so it's you know the black cable over here goes to the G okay and that's pretty much it now as far as I know, this OSD is designed to work with 12 volts. And that's what the voltage that normally, you know, like a bus cam for stick style or basic transmitter will send into the OSD and into the camera. If you are a fact chart user uh, and you want to use this OSD, I would recommend you to buy any of the many 32 channel video transmitters on the market. You can get, you know, a, a, this video transmitters that go from 200 on the way to 20 all the way to 2200 and anything in between but all of them work on 12 volts and all of them will have frequencies that are compatible with your fact chart system okay since i don't use fact chart i use boss cam uh i don't have no issues because the way everything goes connected over here is fox tech bus cam style it's not fact chart style Okay, so that's the way everything goes. Okay, so let's proceed to show the the screenshots, so you can see how everything goes and the menus and everything. And then I will do a follow-up video in the near future, where I'm gonna try to figure out what means what on you know try to translate all the Chinese information into english not on the osd the actual osd but i'm going to show the screenshots and show what means what i'm going to try to go to a local chinese restaurant and see if they can translate it for me and then um i'm going to do you know a test flight with this and see how accurate it is and how good it works but that's going to be in another video okay so let's proceed to show the screenshots and after that it's going to be the, the end of the video okay so thanks for watching